Gentlemen, here in round one, we're revisiting a Forged and Fire favorite. This is a 1986 truck, and it's also where you'll harvest your steel from in this first round of competition. Now, we're not doing any old signature blades in your signature style. Instead, we've already picked the blade for you guys to make, the fully functional friction folder. The friction folder is a blade where, whether the blade is opened or closed, friction maintains that blade's position. Good luck, bladesmiths. Your three hour starts now. My name is John Medlin. I'm from St. Matthew, South Carolina. I have a three year old named Emma, and she's my number one fan. In fact, she gave me a little toy to keep in my pocket. She said I needed to take it with me. We'll see if it brings any luck or not. My game plan is to forge it out as quick as I can, get to shape, and get on the grinders so I can get the heat treat. Well, look at John's tail really coming along. It's really starting to look like a friction folder tail. John looks like he's going to go for an edge quench. Pretty good idea. I get the edge, what I think would be a good, you know, temp for the heat treat. She hardened up real nice, so should be fine. Oh, dang. I've got about a half inch crack, about an inch and a half from the end of my blade. There's literally minutes left on the clock. Two minutes, Blade Smiths! Oh, man. I can't do much. Just going to have to have a crack in the end of it. My name is Joe Nipper from Deloge, Missouri. My business partner, John Wigger, is a Forged and Fire champion. So if I don't do well, I will never hear the end of it. Man, Joe's got a big, thick chunk of steel. Look at his hand wrapped around that thing. Yeah. Any spot that is not flat on this blade is going to cause problems in that pin area where the friction is supposed to be. I just want to get a good shape and get something that's going to hold up to the test. I'm getting ready to drill my pivot hole and uh, hopefully move on to heat treat. This thing's giving me fits. My best guess is it needs to go center mass between my tail and where my blade's going to start. So here's the hoping my guess is right. Joe has just quenched his blade. He's got a pretty significant warp. I'm going to have to cheat it one more time. That clock is ticking. It's getting down to the wire, and I need to get this done now. Hope for the best. Better. My name is Steve Coster. I enjoy taking whatever I have and making it work. If I was stranded on a desert island and given a spoon to survive with, I would have a three-story home built in a matter of six months. I decided to forge out a little pad on the end of the tang. The concept is to hollow out a little pocket where that tab would fit in the pocket, come down, and stop the tang from going any farther into the handle. I'm really trying to draw down as much material on the bevels to get the edge of the blade straight. The straight edge is easier to grind, easier to work with. Steve looks like he's going to go for a quench. I don't have any warps. I'm pretty happy with things the way they turned out. Three, two, one. Blade Smith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. This first round of friction folder competition is over. All right, bladesmiths, congratulations. You've made it into the second round of this competition. And now that your blades have been tempered, it's time to turn them into fully functional friction folders by attaching handles to them. Good luck, bladesmiths. Your three hour starts now. Not only am I going to have to grind this crack out, but I know once I start grinding the crack out, it's going to change the whole shape of my blade. It looks like I got the crack all the way out. Immediately, my focus shifts to, I need to get this handle on this thing. It's going to be super hard to drill this hole. I know if it snaps that, I'm going to go home. Finally, she just starts digging in. And I'm actually really, really the clock is ticking down, but my handle's actually coming together now. It doesn't feel awful. Now I need to get an uh, actual sharp edge on my blade. Joe's blade is a big, thick blade. And if you're going to turn that into a folder, it's going to be ginormous. The material's not coming off as fast as I would like it, but I know it's very critical for me to do it. If it takes me a little extra time than what I plan for, that's just what I got to do. I'm behind schedule in my mind. This is not where I wanted to be. I've got to start shaping my handle. At this point, I'm not looking to turn in a perfect blade. I know that's not going to happen. 
still a little big yet. Damn it. I'm just trying to turn a handle in that you could actually hold. At this point, I'm just not feeling like I'm going to make that goal. I really need to concentrate on the handle. I'm a little confused right now at the geometry of the pinhole. I drilled three different holes in different spaces in my handle material, and I can swing the blade and see where it closes and where it opens. I've got everything together, and then I realized that I fully quenched my blade, which means I have a fully hardened blade. And a fully hardened blade can be brittle, and I really don't want my blade to be brittle for the bumper chop. I want it to have a soft back. So I blew back my spine. What Steve's doing is he's really building for the test. That blue backing was really a smart idea. The friction part of it works, opening and closing pretty good. Uh, just the handle is just too fat, so I really need to get it down a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Placement, shut down your machines, drop your tools. Woo! This second round of competition is over. Oh. I'm happy I got something turned in, but that handle's blocky, and it's not going to be super comfortable for the judges. I'm definitely worried. Blade Smiths, welcome to the strength test. To test the strength and durability of your friction folders, I'll be batoning them into this car bumper. Remember, this test is all about what that bumper does to your friction folders, and not the other way around. John, you're up first. You ready? I'm about as ready as I'm going to get. <laughs> All right. Anytime steel hits steel, there's a big chance something's going to break, especially since I had to reprofile it and make the end so thin. I'm just hoping that it's going to make it through. Well, John, your entire knife held up well. The mechanism works well. It's, it's nice and tight in all its orientations. Your edge took some minor roll, some glinting. But in total, I think it held up really well in this test. Well Thank done. Thank you. Joe, you're up. How are you feeling? Uh, first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn, and I know this test is going to be brutal. I mean, it kind of makes my stomach turn. That handle's got me really concerned. That's the biggest weakness, and that's a critical point of that blade. Well, Joe, it held up. All in one piece, very good. The uh, blade took some roll. You can hear it, especially out here towards the tip. The handle itself is huge. If I were to be actually swinging this thing, it would be difficult to keep control of. Yeah. What are you thinking, Steve? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm about ready to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking you are. John and Joe did really well, and now it's my turn, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get the same out of it. Well, Steve, your edge took some roll from the bumper, mostly at the point here. Your handle is comfortable. I like the swell up here near the front. It's, it's, it gives me my hand a place to live. It all held up. It's all one piece. Well done. Thank you very much. This is the sharpness test. The seat belt strap slice. Now, unlike the strength test, this is all about what the edge of your weapon will do to these seat belt straps. John, you're up first. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Good job. Your edge has some rolling there, but it did not affect the test at all. It was easy to cut through. The thing I like about this is that I can wrap my hands around it, and I can actually make it work when I'm slicing with it and moving it around. Your weapon, it will cut. Thank you. Good job. Joe, you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> mm. 
Nice. Okay, good job, buddy. Very good. Good job. Yes. It's really wide in the hand, as you can see, when you wrap around it. Continuous use of this will put some stress on the fingers. But your edge here is sharp. It will cut. Thank you. All right, Steve, it's your turn. You ready? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You contour this enough to where I can wrap my hand around so I get a good grip. With that grip, it allows easier to index and slash with it. Your edge cut easily through all the seatbelt straps. It is sharp and it will cut. Thank you. Good job. Bladesmiths, the judge's deliberation has been completed. The bladesmith leaving the forge is. Joe, your blade didn't make the cut. Joe, all your blades performed equally well, but it came down to the detail of your handle construction. We all felt it was a little bit wide to be comfortable in the hand. Please surrender your friction folder. I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't make it through, but I knew that handle was going to be an issue. If I had five more minutes just to work on that handle, I think this would have been a different outcome.